the iconic 124-year-old race is going ahead. The biggest horse racing day in Africa again, showcasing the who's who in the entertainment and fashion world. Annually held at the Gravel Racecourse, this year it will be behind closed doors. The digital platform will also allow for online betting. Guests will only be granted access into the digital lounge, providing a secure and private experience. A menu with canapes and hot meals will be delivered to the homes of virtual guests. But being a part of this experience comes with a hefty price tag. At home, we are encouraging our, our fans of the Vodacom Durban July to, to stay at home this year, but to still participate in the event by getting dressed up and, and taking part in the competitions which will be available on social media. We know in, in, in the past uh, the event or the, uh, everything around the event has attracted in the region of 100 million rand uh, from outside of the province to, to the province, um, which, which is a substantial amount of money. Um, we will have to do our, our reports at the, at the end of this year's event in order to uh, find out what that figure will drop to this year. We expect it to drop uh, for obvious reasons. We don't have all the people traveling down to the event, staying in hotels, flying, flying down to Durban. Organizers say the number of races has been reduced from 12 to 10. It was a, a socially responsible one and that was to race this year's event behind closed doors and not have the 50,000 odd people uh, here at Hollywood Betts Gravel Racecourse. Um, we have decreased this year's uh, number of races from, from 12 races to 10 races so that we don't race into the night. It will be a day only event. The event is traditionally a massive draw card for artists, musicians and celebrities, as well as a platform for emerging fashion designers. The tourism and hospitality sectors are now severely affected, but the municipality remains hopeful that the event will be a success. Many of the downstream sectors have been severely affected uh, by this, but we are hopeful that they will be uh, on a gradual basis uh, coming on board to recover, uh, to recoup from where they left off. But it's important that uh, people start uh, really understanding that we have to adapt to this new normal uh, of doing things, and that is the only way we can do uh, now at the present moment during this COVID-19. So we are hopeful that uh, Deben will also be having a space to market itself. The main event takes place on the 25th of July. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Durban. Yeah.